London in the sun is lots of fun. Lots for the kids to do and for us adults too. Being half English, I have a lot of relatives and friends here and I went to the London School of Economics, so lots of memories in London. Now with the kids, there's a whole new city to explore. One tip I would say is it's always good to bring a pram, even if the kids are a bit older. So ours are almost six and four, but the pram is so useful because each one of them has turns when they're tired in it. Also a little haversack is a great idea. Zen loves wearing his, carries his water bottles and little snacks and things like that. We went straight to the park and it was fantastic. The kids just run around feeding the ducks in Regent's Park and Hyde Park, something we used to do with our grandparents when we were little. And it's free, so that's a great thing to do. And a walk through the beautiful rose garden at Regent's Park. And then we met my bestest uni friend, Kemi, at the park with her little one. Thank you guys, we missed you. And thanks for bringing the sun from Bombay. Ah, oh, yeah, we're here with the sun. It's so great to see Kems, and we're gonna go see the animals in the zoo. And we had a super time at the zoo. The kids, of course, loved seeing the animals. They even disappeared at one point and had their faces painted. They loved the carousel. I'm a monkey. And, and what I'm are you? A Leopard. Wow! And after quite a tiring time at the zoo, we headed to my uncle and aunt's house for supper. It was great seeing them and having a nice family meal and Rupak joined us there too after a day of work. Food! Now that's a good thing to talk about. It's always difficult when travelling to figure out what exactly to feed the kids. At this age it's slightly easier because they can say what they like and pasta is usually a good idea. Whew. We would have thought everyone would be tired, especially with jet lag, but adrenaline was still running high and we stayed up even later. And then we met to go for Lion King, an amazing musical. And then I tried to do some shopping. Boys, are you going to let us do some shopping? Yes. Not easy with two naughty boys, I have to say. They were all over the shops and it's a wonder that we got anything done. Finally, we got them back out the Princess Di Memorial Garden in Kensington Garden. They've got this amazing ship which the kids love playing on. And again, it's free, so it's a lovely place to go, especially in the sun. And we are now going back because Rupak and me were going out for a dinner date with our friends and Mummy is going to babysit the kids. She told us that she spent a lot of time letting them do these wonderful floor puzzles and in the morning they were still at it. Another great little thing to carry along on a trip. And so, let's get back to another day in London. Hope you guys are having a super time wherever you are. And watch out for the next Tara's Travel Diary. Till we meet again. Tara, tara, tara.